A speaker box made out of cardboard. Whose idea was this? These boxes were from the Amazon. They've been lying in the other room for about a month now, so what I'm gonna do with them is make a speaker box. Like I said already, like it's written in the title. What is that? North side. Do you see how her dress matches with the white paint of this room? Yeah, they're saying that after marriage, assuming you have a house, the next stage in your life is getting a new kitchen fitted. He is actually three quarters shaved. So we can make a box out of this smaller box. Personally, I think this side will be best because it's not gonna flex as easily as this side. But then again, what speakers am I gonna use? What speakers am I gonna use? I was gonna use this, but it's way too heavy. Yeah, once a hole gets put into it, it's gonna lose all that rigidity because most of this is gonna be taken out. I wanna try to make a box that's gonna be at least maybe slightly functional, slightly functional. Maybe if I cut it in half this way and I could put speakers on this side. Yeah, let me just start by cutting it in half. Okay, so here we have some sellotape and some scissors. All right, first of all, I've got to find the end of the sellotape, which is always fun. Let's get Peanut into the shot. There we go. Top right hand corner. Left. Top left hand corner. We'll run the scissors down this bit. Oh, and by the way, this is the sort of video you do when you're bored. At least we have him here. He's slightly more entertained with the other box. I think he wants to get inside it. And now he's trying to get inside it. I think now what I need to do is make a cut down here to about there. By the way, I have not planned this video out, so please excuse the stupidity. Now what I can do is... Shove it up your ass! Let's just measure this. I'm gonna use this to measure this. This to measure this. Just a one and a, and a two. And that should do. Yeah, yeah. That is good, that is good. These front flaps are all right because the insides of these, the ridges go that way, but this one, the ridges go that way. So it's a little harder to bend. Let's use the edge of this. North side, east side, west side, earth. Now I should be able to bend this. I mean, I could already bend it. You know what I mean. And now the side bits about there and about there. So that is how that looks on the inside. Okay, now my legs are dead and my feet have seen better days. Now let's get to putting this on a casual. Once I've got the basic layout of the box down, what I'll do is I'll go over these gaps and sort them out. I probably will be building more speaker boxes in the future, but not cardboard speaker boxes. This is for fun, just to see how it would turn out. Because I've never done this before and I have speakers lying around I can use. Plus, somebody suggested this to me in the comments. Like so. This side fits a V mode better. I'm sure I had a tape dispenser somewhere. And I'm not talking about my VCR. See this one here. This one is gonna go like this. Like so. Shall we find some speakers? Shall we look for some You know what? Actually, I can see some speakers. Can't we, Peanut? We can see some. Look, over here. Can you see them? Fetch. Here we have a number one speaker and number two. Two. These are the speakers I'm gonna use. Kind of almost forgot where the screws were for a second, but they're behind the grills. Behind these things. So this is how you take them out. Stick a screwdriver in there and then you sort of like, just kind of like get a screwdriver that fits. Stick some scissors in there like this and they come out like that. See that? Scissors go in, that comes out. 
The speaker's quite dusty, which means I haven't opened it yet. I've got three others of these, and I've opened one of them and base tested it. So check out that video. So to take this out, you've got to undo these at the back as well. Now, with these screws right there. And then, there we have it. So I should be able to use this to draw the circle. I'm just going to eyeball it. Now I need a blade. A blade is what I need. Blades. If you're wondering to yourself, how bored must you be to do something like this? My answer to you would be card. Card board. Okay, so that's one side done. And that will fit. That is good. Now those holes are made, I need to open this one up. Electric screwdriver mode, engaged. Take these off the back, otherwise it's not gonna come out. Put these to one side because OCD. And then... What I'm gonna do now is cut this side open because I totally haven't planned this video out or making this box. That'll make a nice flap through which I can access the back of the speakers. Got a bit of card here and what I'm gonna do with this is fold it every one, two, three, four. That is roughly an inch. See how it turns into a square. Then what I'll do is get some of this, if I can find the end of it. Now can you guess what this is gonna be? Can you guess? Nope, not a pot. Follow the hand. Right there, it's under here. Bracing, check that out. And that is what it looks like on the inside. Wow. But before I do that, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna sellotape all these loose bits. 2,000 years later. So I've added these edges to it, and that is so that it can stay in one place. But also with these edges, I can actually sellotape it so it's permanent. So, how's your day been? Really? That's nice. Okay, so I might be able to get the things through there. Let's see how it fits. Okay, that fits all right. Force it through, it's only cardboard. And there we go. Oh yeah, and by the way, I put another bracing right there. I should have really put this one in first because I can't get my hand in through this end. And we'll angle the speakers this way. Let's see if we can screw these in then. Is that gonna work? Kind of. Don't wanna over tighten. Now what I need to do is maybe Shove it up your ass. solid tape some of these edges. Okay, so the back of these are in place. I've um, taken them out and just screwed them into the back rather than having these bits stick out. And here, can you tell? Can you tell what I've done? Can you tell? So I've put this there on the inside. This one, the one that goes across like this. Let's see how it sounds. Right, that was just a quick test. I'm gonna do something else to this now. So, can you guess what this is? That is a pot. You know this is the sickest cardboard speaker box you've seen.
Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. Um, we're going to see how much of a difference a bit of this makes. Okay, so this is how much I've put inside. Well, you can't even see how much I've put inside, but you see how there's that much there? Well, that amount goes all the way along. We are up here now, and in this room, we will probably get a bit more of an accurate representation of what this sounds like. What I'm going to do is turn this up until I hear it hiss, and then press play on this. Well, there you go, that's how it sounds. Nothing special. Sounds a little better than I expected it would. What else can I say? If you wanted to make a cardboard speaker box, then go for it. You might have fun. So, uh, yeah, what else is new? Nothing good. Well, I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>